All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk About It. And once again, I'm host, uh, one, of, one of the hosts, Michael Curtis, along with, once again, my boy, Jonathan Green. What's going on? How we doing, Michael? You know what? Can't complain, another day alive. So, you know, take the blessings while you got them, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Looks like you got a visitor coming up to you on your ride over there. Uh, probably so. so <laughs> he's usually there once I hop, hop on camera. So, <laughs> but it looks like today we're our subject for today is we're you're going to talk about um, you know where do we go from here as far as dance the dance business dance industry with the uh, COVID and release of the vaccine and stuff like that. Where do we go? What should our aim be? What should the priorities be for, you know, the start of this year? Where should we be going with all that? What are your thoughts, Jonathan? Well, it's funny. We actually, you and I shot a video, like, uh, it was one of these episodes of Let's Talk About It, probably about three or four months ago now at this point about, you know, when should we get back to competing with COVID and when, when will a vaccine be coming and all that stuff. And we actually never aired that episode. Um, I'll probably, it'll probably come out sometime just, we'll throw a couple episodes out in one week or something, but, you know, we talked about this exact thing. Where were we going to go? What's going to be, uh, what do we need to do to prepare uh, <clears throat> to be ready for whatever changes are going to be not short-term changes, but are going to be around for a while and how can, and even the short-term changes, how can we get through them quicker? So we really kind of talked about a lot of it. Uh, <clears throat> for me, the focus, was mostly on how can I continue to work with uh, people, but not in person. So, you know, teaching online, things like that. Um, I haven't done a lot of thought about getting back to the world that we were in before with dance. Um, I guess for me as uh, just an individual, you know, the viruses was, is and all, and still is, was and still is uh, concerning, very concerning. Um, so to me, in my mind, it was very simple. Uh, okay, we just find a way to keep working on our dance while not being able to see one another in person. Um, but that apparently was not where everybody else's head was. <laughs> uh, lots of people were like, I don't want to dance if we're not dancing in person. And, and so that, uh, I think, then started getting my head back towards the, okay, how do we need to get things back to how they were? Um, and, <clears throat> you know, you've brought up some good points. Um, well, now we have a vaccine. So uh, in the perfect world, everybody could just get vaccinated and then everything could go back to normal, right? Or wrong? <laughs> I, that's a, I mean, that's a loaded question because honestly, <laughs> my viewpoint on this is, I mean, we've got to now make, you know, how do we make everyone feel safe, which is going to be a tough one to do because, you know, we are once again in a proximity business where I'm dancing with that person. Um, you know, I really didn't find much, much success with the whole online thing. It seemed like people wanted to be, you know, it was great for some techniques and it was great for those that understood that they need to work on their own, their own dancing a lot more in the technique and being able to work on choreography and stuff like that. But it seems like, you know, people want that. I want to be there, you know, social, the social aspect. Yeah. Of it. So I have people I, didn't I, even I, try it. Yeah, I didn't I didn't find much, much uh, too big of a success with that. You know, I think some people did it pretty well, adapted pretty well. But how do we make them feel safe? You know, you said brought up the vaccine and, you know, we're thinking like how, how long before we even get it, you know, because <clears throat> unless you're like essential or, you know, older or have pre-existing condition that would, you know, <coughs> excuse me, make it worse for you, then, I mean, you're probably not going to be getting it for, you know, to like, they're saying like March or April or something like that. So, I mean, I guess we'll see what happens. I, I guess the question is, you know, is that something that, the, you know, you think the in, in, uh, in, 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 in D, in DCA, NDCA may, you know, kind of take a leadership role on and, you know, hey, this is what we think, you know, all instructors should have this or, is this kind of like, will they just kind of leave it to, you know, us? Will that be a requirement to have it to compete going forward? You know, I'm very interested to get get those questions because I know there's some industries that can make that, you know, hey, if you want a job, you, you're going to have to get that vaccine. So 
for I'm sure. Here. And it's lots something. of them are the sport industries, so very similar. Yeah. So I'd be interested to see if they if they get on if they do something about that. Maybe that's something that the uh, they get on board with. But besides that, I mean, it's at this point, it's just it's still kind of in a survival mode. And I wish we weren't, but we're just in that mode of like, how do we move forward? Um, which is the difficult part. And then how do we get things back to, like, I think there needs to be some kind of a, you know, reintroduction back to ballroom. Here's what we're doing. And then it's laid out for people, which is a first step. It's laid out for people to kind of go, okay, this is what dance is going to be doing. And this is the standard that they're going to be going by besides, well, do you just have a mask on? So. I would like to have some kind of a plan, you know, set up, and I think that should come from the the, the leaders leaders uh, leaders of dance to kind of push that forward. And are you talking specifically competition there at the end? Um, I mean, like, what about social dancing? How do you see, like? Uh, see, that's a, yeah, and see, see, what I'm thinking is going to end up happening is that's is that's going to be an independent thing. They're going to make that each studio handles their own. Their own thing, but they're, they've always been our competition, you know, kind of the competition um, council. So, you know, on that aspect of it, it would be nice if they they came out with something saying, "Hey, you know, do we the want?" Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we want vaccinations? I don't see them coming down as far as like you know the independent studios. I think that's going to be more of a a decision on that one. But I would like something put out there that you know we can kind of show two dancers coming back like look this is what uh, has been suggested and, uh, and studios are adopting it you know just to have something out that there. would be nice it would be nice if there was uh more of that going on in general like i have a couple of friends that and you know we have little tiny little groups that we keep you know sharing ideas about what's going on and i just ideas but literally just sharing what's going on how frequently someone one of your students is contracting the virus, uh, you know, how many lessons are you teaching each week, the, these types of things, you know, uh, keeping in touch with a few people to do that. But uh, it would be nice if there was some kind of area for everyone to kind of come together that you could see just even online. There's just anyone could kind of go and check out and see what it is that people are talking about and sharing and whatnot. It doesn't really seem like we have a forum or a center for people to gather and talk about ballroom dance online. I mean, not I wouldn't say virtually, but um, I mean, there's there's Facebook groups, but usually those are those are all like con advertisement content, you know. Most like, of oh right, yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah, <laughs> not much. Those are like clicks. Yeah. All the different clicks. Not really much discussion, but I mean, like I, I think we talked about this, and this is where we're going to go in anyway, as far as this episode, is we need a check in, you know, a check in with all the all instructors, you know, because I've heard some stories here and there about certain studios and instructors. It's 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 been sad, you know, and there's people that you know I haven't heard from in a while. Are you still in business? Are you still teaching? I mean, have you moved on? You know, <laughs> are you still alive? You know, all these like. <laughs> <laughs> come up and it would be nice to have a, a virtual we all get together and just sit there and just say hey a check in and then hey what are you doing what success are you finding because i think this is the probably the best time to be sharing and as professionals sure. i think that's where we need to go with this is what are you doing to succeed what success have you found that may you know help someone else that may not their lesson count went from hey i'm doing 30 a week to now i'm only doing like you know nine or ten you know? right right so nine or ten, good for you. No. Right, I know, I know. I didn't want to just say five or something like that. <laughs> I just thought one lesson today. I uh, well, and actually, we've had so many, particularly uh, like my studio in downtown Canton, or Rachel and I's studio, uh, has had so many situations where a student has contracted. Not so many. We've had two, but to us, that's like. It's a whole lot. <laughs> uh, we've had two situations where a student who had been at the studio contracted the virus. So we had to then, you know, uh, thankfully, uh, well, not, I guess, thankfully, but not thankfully. Thankfully for this, there isn't a lot of people at the studio. So these people that did contract the virus didn't have any, uh, uh, you know, they weren't near any other students. And also we put time in between lessons and things like that. But, but nonetheless, we had talked, Rachel had taught this person. So then we had to go into quarantine for two weeks, you know, all has been fine, but, 
And then it's happened again, uh, like a week ago. So now I'm in quarantine again for two weeks. This is our second time. Uh, just because if you're this close to the person right. who contacted, you're s- supposedly you should, which makes sense, <laughs> stay in until the window of whether or not you can get someone else sick uh, is closed. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, that's been the extremely difficult to work around though because we're unable to like Rachel and I run the whole studio for the most part I mean we do have uh, one other Lou helps us run the studio as well and we have a couple of our other trainees who are uh, very growing quickly and participating wanting to help out but still we can't be there and do the things that need to be done so uh, we do what we can from home but this is all these are all issues that I'm sure everyone's experienced not everyone but a large portion of the dance population is experiencing and how do we uh, in the meantime, I guess kind of to what you were saying is until everybody does have this vaccine, how do we get back to, you know, how can we keep the business surviving, I guess, essentially? Are we just supposed to uh, literally do that, survive, hang, you know, survive on our savings um, until yeah. things get back to normal and then start over in a sense? Is that what we're supposed to do? Right. <laughs> And I mean, the one thing I just noticed, uh, well, they've been talking about it, but now they're talking about there's this new strain now, this new variant of it that they found. And it's like, oh, well, this could be more potentially more dangerous than the the one that we just got, you know. So does the vaccine even work for this new strain or is it, you know, are we back to square one? Which and, was predicted. Yeah. So that makes me a little bit nervous about, you know, having a kind of a, you know, a re- a comfortability after getting the vaccine. Right, 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 right. So it's like, you know, is it gonna come down to another explosion again of, of, of cases mm. and, you know, which again- When will, it's more serious? Which will make people once again stay home and, you know, and there goes that. I mean, how long can dance survive without having, you know, lessons and things to- <laughs> 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 like I said, this this so, so yeah. I mean, like I said, what I think should just happen is one, yeah, we'd love to hear from the NDCA or whatever council wants to talk about, it, even if it's you know, World Dance Council or something like that. Any 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 leaders that want to step up and you know kind of take a head on this and just kind of, you know, we get something going going forward, like, hey, here's what we project to do going forward. And that's something we can just all kind of like adopt or you know, adopt or not. Um, then two, you know, where do we go with, with vaccines? Do we require them, you know, for entry? I mean, what, what do we do with that? I would like to hear people's opinions on that. And then lastly, yeah, I mean, I just would like to hear how other instructors are, what success, successes they found, you know, during COVID. I mean, you know, I, I know some people that are having pretty good success with the Zooms and, you know, how did you, how did you do it? You know, how did you address it? You know, what, what, what's, what system are you Adjustments and all of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What is, what are you doing there? And for those that maybe are teaching, what are you, you know, physically, what are you doing that you found success doing to get people, people back in? So I would love to get together and, you know, kind of check in with people and, and just talk it out and it would be a great time to share ideas. And I think this is where we need to talk and go right now is if there's any time to come together, this is, this is definitely it. And not just in work, you know, lip service, but to actually show up and not be scared to share information. Absolutely. Yeah, and we talked about this and we decided that we would reach out to anybody who's watching, listening. Um, We usually record our our Let's Talk About episodes Wednesdays at one. So we thought next Wednesday, which would be, what what would that date be? Uh, The 13th? Yes. Wednesday the 13th at 1 p.m. Eastern yeah. Standard Time. We would uh, invite people to join us. Uh, we're not going to record this as an episode, but uh, this is when we can all kind of, anyone who wants to uh, join us and chat about, you know, what it is we need to do for the industry, what changes you're making, and just kind of share not just your story, but uh, do so in the effort to aid uh, everyone in their own story right. and coming together. Yep, and I would definitely, and, and too, yeah, definitely just want to just want to check in too. You know, I want to see where people are. I mean, um, you know, I've heard of a story of an instructor I've known for a long time and, 
no one knows, knows where he is, you know, I didn't even know he fell out of the picture, you know, so, you know, you hear stories like that and, you know, if people are out there and they're not, they just feel like they have no one to talk to, you know, come to this and just be there and, you know, just so we can see your faces and, you know, and then we can chat about it because, you know, maybe it's something that someone else has done can help you kind of raise your lesson count a little bit. I mean, we all need it, but maybe someone's, maybe someone's cracked this thing, you know? Yeah, and, and maybe they've cracked the one thing you haven't, which is the other piece of your puzzle you need to really be able to make it through this thing or even be able to be comfortable throughout this thing. Um, I agree. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'll invite some of just my own uh, friends. I'll reach out to some individuals on my own. And then hopefully anyone who's watching us, if you do truly have an interest in getting involved and in, uh, sharing your story and then we'd love to have you. Please join us. Uh, how will they join us, Michael? Uh, we can probably do like a Facebook invite, invite people through Facebook and then just give them the link, link day of, or just put the link out there, whatever you want to do. Um, probably the best way to do it. And then we- I like that. <clears throat> yeah. So then I'll create uh, an event on the Facebook page on Perfect Partner. And uh, what do we want to call it? Uh, instructor check-in. <laughs> um, well, that being said, then are we reaching out just to the instructors out there? I think for, for now, just to kind of start, I think it'd be smart just to kind of start with the, with the industry, people that are in the industry to kind of talk about it. We can always, you know, throw one out there for, you know, students to, you know, kind of talk about. I think they have their own forms. They talk, talk in anyway, but for sure, I think yeah. for this start, I mean, because we're talking about how to survive together and how to get through this. So that's going to help the students anyway. So let's figure that yeah. out. Then, you know, we can, you know, we can, you know, make another one and invite whoever. I like it. All right. So that's like instructors, coaches, judges, uh, exactly. you know, professionals in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Sounds, sounds lovely. So then I'll create an event on the Facebook page. Uh, and what, what was the name again? We can just call it like, you know, I don't, dance sport check-in or professional dance sport check-in or something like that. All right, professional dance sport check-in. That's what we'll call it. Professional dance sport check-in. Uh, so I'll create the event, the event on Facebook. So that way, anybody who joins the event, I can send them a link to Zoom, or I can contact them. That sounds like hmm. Okay. No, I can actually. You can probably just add it to the um the the. You can probably just add it to the. Facebook. Add the link to the event yep. and they'll be able to just click it from there. Lovely. Oh, go team. Lovely. Uh, all right. Well, that's what we will do. So the, what's the name again? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go with a dance, for, <laughs> dance, dance sport professionals check-in. Dance sport professionals check-in. It's going to be the only event on perfect partner <laughs> so for any of you people watching if you see an event coming up for next wednesday that's it um and then we'll share the link via the individuals who choose to go to the event so they'll see it um yeah so we'll get to check in with everybody see how everyone's doing um that sounds great uh afterward if we have time still if the meeting doesn't go too long we'll shoot a, another episode and we'll share with everybody at home what it is we talked about maybe uh, yeah, and, that'd be uh, great. Yeah, all right, cool. And I feel like there was something, uh, you know, there was like a thought I had, but usually it's okay to let those go. Uh, <laughs> so, never mind, I guess. Oh, I was, uh, it popped right back. So, and also, like I mentioned before, it would be nice if there was like a forum, just literally uh, a page with text on it where everybody can share their thoughts and go back and forth on the conversation. So maybe I'll look into creating something like that on the perfect partner page, uh, just a, an industry, you know, a dance sport industry forum. So hopefully people can, you know, have kind of one point to gather um, until we get a better, uh, a better place. There you go. So look at that. that. That sounds perfect. All right. Well, I think that's it, guys. Uh, how about that? We uh, didn't have more to say. That's probably pretty that's rare. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, enjoy that little moment of silence there. We'll see you next week. 
uh, for another episode of Let's Talk About It. Thanks for Absolutely. joining us. Be safe, and everybody. That's right. Be safe, stay healthy, and check out perfectpartner.us.